Hey everybody, welcome back to the Mallard 5 Farmhouse. Today I want to talk about a subject that I think all of us with property worry about, and that is trespassing. What can we do to stop trespassing? Well, here in Ohio, there's a couple things that you can do. I looked up the laws, and some states have more uh, ways to pre prevent trespassing than us. The two things that you can do is, of course, verbally go and tell somebody that's trespassing on your land to get off and if they don't you can press charges the other way is by visual posted signs your property being posted I had a neighbor before ask me uh, why are you hanging up all these signs are you having trouble with trespassers or did somebody steal something from you I said no but I'm trying to prevent that the way I look at it you know I didn't used to have property and there were places that I wanted to hunt and, and saw, and like, man, that, that guy or woman, they, they have a nice piece of ground. I wish I could hunt there. But did I? No, I never even thought about stepping foot on their property. I, I wasn't raised that way. I was raised, you don't touch another person's car, you don't walk on somebody else's property. What's yours is yours, and what's theirs is theirs. I wanted property, so I worked a bunch of hours over time and saved up my money, and we were able to buy this place. And so now in my head, this place is mine. And uh, we moved out here for privacy, just like I'm sure a lot of you have that have property. And I don't want people on it. You know, and especially with this county park, I know there have been uh, drug busts out there. There's an overlook out this park, and uh, there's been a bunch of drug busts. And I don't want that on my property, especially with my kids. You know, I want them to be able to go outside and I want to know that they're safe. And I've got a township road going right through the center of my property. And uh, like I said, I got this park out here. So there's a lot of potential for trespassing. Haven't had any trouble with it yet, and I don't want to. Hopefully, these signs have been a clue to people to, hey, this guy's serious. He doesn't want people on his property. Another tip. Uh, if you do have somebody on your property, be prepared. Don't wait till you see somebody walking out in your field somewhere and say, hey, I need to fi figure out what the game warden's number is. I've got the game warden's number in my phone, in my contacts. And depending on the situation, I'm gonna call him first, but depending on the situation, I'll call the local authorities too. When I get back to the house, I'll look that up and I'll show you what kind of fines and they can even get days in jail for trespassing on your property. So when putting these signs up, think about places where people are going to maybe trespass or walk through. And once you put these signs up, you might even think about putting a trail camera up. The reason for that is if you put a sign up and you can figure out a way to hang this trail camera up where nobody will notice it but it's facing the sign and it's a potential uh, entrance to your property that people might use. You could have photographic evidence of someone trespassing on your property and a posted sign there where they could have seen it and should have known to stay off of it. So you would have your hard evidence by hanging up a trail camera and having pictures. That way you got more firepower to fight to you know, maybe press charges against somebody for trespassing. You gotta protect yourself, especially, things ain't getting better. If anything, things are getting worse. So, that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna hang up these signs, and paint a couple trees, and just let people know, hey, you, you need to stay on the pro park's property, or you just need to stay off this property completely. A couple years ago, the purple paint bill was introduced in Ohio, but I don't think it passed but they were thinking about it so i'm going to get ahead of the game and i'm going to paint purple on trees and fence posts anyway around the property just to add that other visual effect so i'm going to go ahead and do that right now Okay, so that looks pretty good. That'll be easily seen. There's a trail right behind me, and there are a bunch of trails in this park, and people could 
uh, walk this trail and, and walk out to my field over here and and they don't need to be over there so this will be easily seen I'm gonna hang a trail camera up on the other side of this trail and have it facing the sun and down at the trail at the same time Okay, so I got that trail covered now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and ride in the side by side and ride along the road and paint uh, some fence posts purple and maybe hang up some more posted signs. And then everything should be uh, pretty well posted around my property. Okay, I just did this one, and not that one, but the, the one further back here, I think they're spaced about right, about 25 yards apart. Like I said, Ohio isn't accepting this yet, so this can't legally stop anybody, but for those who do know about purple paint, maybe it will make them think twice. So I'm going to keep going down the, the road here and do every other one. I got the double whammy here. I got the purple fence post here. And on the other side of the road, got my ripped up posted sign, but it's still there. Easily seen from the, the road here. Because both sides of the road are mine. And nobody needs to be on either side of them. Okay, so here I... Uh, I went to Google and typed in uh, trespassing sign laws and it brought me to www.signs.com and it it will have the laws for every state so going down here to Ohio trespassing in Ohio law is outlined and right here so you can look that up I'll bring that up right now and this talk talks about uh, trespassing and Here's what criminal trespass is referred to. It says, while penalties may differ a little bit based off of where the trespassing occurs, it's considered a misdemeanor of the fourth degree. Now this is where you come in as a property owner. In order to give notice, signage or posting must be in a manner reasonably calculated to come to the attention of potential intruders. So that's what we just did. We made sure it was on a trail where people can see it right beside the trail and that's why we put the trail cam there because that's just more proof and more firepower in case somebody is trespassing. Okay, so what does the misdemeanor of the fourth degree mean? If someone's trespassing and there's no violence or threat of violence involved, they can still get charged and it can carry a jail sentence of up to 30 days and at most a fine of $250 so that will go on their record and they will get in trouble for it even if they don't commit any violence or threaten any violence so basically I have all the entrances to my property posted now and I got the purple paint like I said that's not a law in Ohio yet but a lot of people know about it so maybe that'll help I mean I know people they're gonna say, man, you, you're really crazy about this. Yeah, I am, you know, because I've worked for this. This is, this is my dream. People will take advantage of you, you know. And I didn't buy this place for other people to use it. It's for my family. These are my tips to help you out. Like I said, check the laws in your states because there are states that have more options to keep trespassers off your property. As long as there's a posted sign where they was entering your property, then you have them. They should have saw it and known to stay off of it. Now I understand accidents happen. If, it's, if there's an accident, like they didn't mean to come on your property, and there's no big deal. Those people are polite and they'll leave. I'm talking about the people who will ab abuse you and your property by coming on it. And they ain't coming on it for the right reasons. They're, they know what they're doing. That's what I'm talking about. Like I said, I've got a drug problem on out the road here. I don't want that here. So that's why I'm so 
I guess, uh, crazy about keeping trespassers off. So everybody, I hope this helped you out. Hope this gave you some tips. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And until next time, everybody, thanks for watching.